Hi there guys, welcome back to another video. I thought I would take you along with me today whilst I make my lunch. It's going to be a low calorie density, super, super satisfying and fantastic for maximum weight loss. If you don't know, I lost 60 pounds as a vegan volume eater and this is how I do it. I'm currently on a cut at the moment and I've lost like six or seven pounds in the last few, like in the last month or so. So this is the kind of stuff I have been eating. I was inspired to use red lentils today. I'm not quite sure why. So we're gonna be making red lentil waffles with all of the things. It's gonna be super packed with vegetables, but it's gonna taste amazing. So if you have some red lentils lying around and you don't fancy eating dal, then this is what you can do with red lentils instead. Let's go do it. I always want to preface my videos by saying, you know, true Amy style, I am in a rush. I've got to leave the house in a half an hour. So this is also a speedy meal that we're gonna to throw together. Okay, we're gonna work fast. The first thing we need is some vegetables to go in the oven so that we can pair it with our waffle. Let's do it. I have been getting into the habit of every time we get our food shop, like yesterday, I've been cutting up loads and loads of broccoli into this gigantic Tupperware so that I never have to do slicing of broccoli when I need it, which just makes it so much more convenient to shove broccoli in my face. So I'm gonna do about head of broccoli. Let's just pretend that's a head of broccoli. I'm not 100% sure. Um, and then I also really fancied some tomatoes and I have some that need using up. Okay, so I've got three nice juicy tomatoes and I'm just gonna cut them in half. I can't even be bothered to move this to get access to chopping board. That is how much of a rush I am currently in. We're gonna add my staples, my basics that I've been adding to everything, uh, which is just firstly a little bit of garlic salt. And by the way, if you are bored of steamed broccoli, if you haven't tried roasting it already, I know it's such a simple switch, but the taste and the flavor is incredible. So uh, this is how I've been making my broccoli recently and I'm absolutely in love with it. We obviously want some nutritional yeast. Why not even on the tomatoes? Let's go for it, let's do it. And last but not least, what gives this loads of extra flavor is some onion powder or onion flakes or something. So I'm just gonna pop that on the top. So whilst we're making the rest of our meal, this is just gonna go into the oven and then hopefully it should be finished when the waffles are ready as well. Obviously we're gonna be using red lentils to make these waffles and you can do sweet red lentil waffles, which would be amazing. And we're gonna try that another day, but this is gonna be savory because I want to get in loads of veggies. I've just soaked it in some boiling water for about half an hour whilst I took Romy on a walk to get her off to sleep. Success. I did about half a cup of red lentils. I'm just gonna pop it into my little blender here. I am gonna be all over the place, guys, I'm sorry, but I need to preheat this little waffle maker if it's going to make it nice and crispy and hopefully not stick all over the place. So grab that, quickly preheat it while we blend up our mixture. Okay, so in with our red lentils, we're going to be adding one cup of water and then a bunch of different seasonings. You can feel free to add whatever kind of seasonings you love. I'm gonna go in with some more garlic salt, obviously. Nutritional yeast. Some baking powder to give it a little bit of, hopefully, fluffiness. There we go. And some more onion powder. Those are just my general flavors of choice. I'm also gonna add a little splash of apple cider vinegar just to like, hopefully, react with the baking powder to like maybe increase the fluffiness. I'm not 100% sure, let's just see how it goes. Anyway, so that's about it. We're just gonna blend this up real quick until it's nice and smooth, and hopefully we don't wake Romy up in the other room. Did she stay asleep? Oh, please, please let her stay asleep purely because when she is tired, she is in a foul, foul mood. Okay, let's have a look. For some reason, the mixture is looking a little bit thin, and I'm not sure why, so maybe add three quarters of a cup of water instead of a full cup, and I should have done that myself, but to make up for it, I'm gonna go in with some ground flax seeds and give that a little mix and mix, and hopefully that'll thicken it up a little bit. One of the strategies I've used over the last month or so um, to reduce the calorie density of my day and keep me full and satisfied is by preloading on either some super low calorie density fruit or some veggies or something whilst I'm making a meal or before I have a meal. It just like keeps me super, super full and satisfied for like ages, which is amazing. So I'm going in with a full punnet of strawberries now. Mm. Oh, they're actually really nice. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, now that my waffle maker is preheated, I'm just gonna pour some of this mixture in 
Oh my gosh, it's getting all sorts of bubbly. Oh, amazing. Okay. There we go. And I'm just going to close the lid. Oh, hold on. A bit more over here. Okie dokie. Close the lid. And then we're going to wish it good luck. And hopefully in 10 minutes or five minutes or something, we have waffles. Now let's get ready with our um, super easy fillings. So for the inside of our waffles, I've got loads of lettuce that needs using up. So I'm just going to uh, get some of this ready. I'm going to keep it nice and chunky so it holds its shape. Um, it doesn't kind of fall out whilst I'm trying to eat it. And this is an excuse for me to get in loads and loads and loads of greens. Um, so like really load them up. The more greens you have, the more... Uh, nutrients, the more munching and crunching, the more low calorie density goodness. So try and really get as many of them in as possible. I'll probably have some more on the side. This is just like base, I reckon. Nice and clean. We're also gonna add in some cucumber as well. You can really add in any veggies. I would add in some tomato, but I'm having that on the side. So I don't really feel like we need extra tomato in here. Mm. And then I was actually hoping for the sauce to be like Indian inspired. So I was, I wanted to be like a nice creamy kind of raita kind of situation. I was gonna blend up some silken tofu and some cannellini beans to make the base, but I realized the blender's like full of chickpeas, of um, red lentil stuff. So, so if you're not opposed to it, Maybe use some Greek style soy yogurt, super nice and thick. I just love the flavor. But if you're not a fan of this stuff and you don't have to use it, obviously, then blend up some silken tofu or some cannellini beans, obviously, or some cashews if you fancy it to make yourself a nice creamy sauce. Um, and then what we're gonna do is add in some lovely flavor. So to give this an Indian kick, I'm gonna go in with some cumin, coriander, onion powder, garlic powder, some black salt or colour namak, I think that's how you say it, um, which is just going to give it like a lovely sulfuric kind of like an eggy flavour. If you're not about that, then just do regular salt. I would do lemon juice, but I can't be bothered. So I'm going to go in with some apple cider vinegar. I'm just going to give that a lovely mix together. I just, oh my gosh, the smell of the black salt is so powerful. If you've never had it before, then maybe just like go easy, but I love it. So I really went for it there. I feel like no waffle is complete unless you have like a super lovely creamy sauce. Let's have a little taste. Mm, oh my gosh. So, so good. Super good. Okay, so now we're basically ready to rumble and we're just waiting on our waffle. I need to take Abe swimming in about 15 minutes. So I'm going to go get all of his swimming stuff ready. And then hopefully when I come back, the waffle will be done. I'm a bit nervous because it's time to peek at the waffle and I don't know what it's going to be like. Oh my god, yes! Oh, guys, it worked! It wor Oh my gosh, it feels amazing. Oh, this is super exciting. I love when you've never tried a recipe before, but it works out well. Let's get in here. Oh my gosh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, come out. Out, you cheeky rascal. Oh, absolutely fluffing beautiful. Right. Round number two. I actually thought this was only gonna make one waffle, so this is actually, this is actually quite substantial. We have double waffles here. Oh, yes. Okay, how, firstly, how beautiful, how beautiful is a waffle? Like, it just transforms th something ordinary and boring into something so sexy like if i made a red lentil pancake i would not be as excited as i am about this waffle right now let's put it together i'm gonna use this new little sexy plate that i bought the other day okay so my plan is to have it like a sandwich which is obviously going to be amazing i'm going to spread my sauce on the bottom layer and the top layer for maximum maximum sauciness that is a word there we go and i know the inside of this sandwich we keep it simple but like i i quite like a simple sandwich if you wanted to add like some grilled tofu or some like little sweet potato bits or something then feel free to go for it i don't have the time today and i'm not i don't really care that much so this is pretty good 
And then we're just going to boop, fold it over. Oh my gosh, there we go. There, how absolutely beautiful is that? Okay, my broccoli and my tomatoes are ready and super like toasty and absolutely delicious with all that flavour. And the nooch adds like a good crumbly texture. So I'm going to load up as many as I fancy. I'll probably just have the whole thing, to be honest, alongside my lovely waffle. And there you go, super, super low calorie density meal. This plus the strawberries is like between five and 600 calories, which is absolutely incredible for the volume that we've got. Like it's amazing. Firstly, this broccoli is delicious. Mm. The flavor from the simple spices is divine. Now let's get into this fat baby, shall we? Mm. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is properly. Oh my god, why is that how is that so fluffy? That's like that is fluffy. Mm. That tastes just like bread. That literally tastes like bread. Like a bread, a really super fluffy bread roll thing in the shape of a waffle. Oh my god. Mm. Mm -mm. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this very speedy and crazy recipe. I just had to share it with you in case it worked out well, which it did. Let me know if you go home and try it yourselves and um, I will see you in the next one. Bye.